Hey, good morning and welcome to Life Online. So I want to talk to you about another area of your life that you real, really need some separation. So uh, we've allowed missionaries, the Hendons, to go ahead and talk about their lives, but we use their lives as fuel to uh, open us up to wh what are the kind of people that God uses. And I will tell you this, that God uses people who separate themselves from the culture of the world to the culture of God's kingdom. And one of the things that we really need to talk about has to do with time. We all have the same amount of time in a day, but we don't all have the same amount of days. So these are words that emerge from Moses, great man of wisdom. It's Psalm 90. It's a prayer that he declares to the Lord. And um, what you will find Moses doing is, uh, is he talks about life. And uh, catch these words, our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures. Yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. Man, are those some really powerful and strong words. Just remember this, that Moses had 40 years that were preparation for uh, what he had to do. And then there was another segment of 40 years where uh, he's kind of banished from Egypt. And so he's just, he's tending sheep. And uh, then these final 40 years of his life, but uh, God strategically prepared him. But imagine as he's leading God's people through wilderness wanderings, um, how challenging you, you maybe have read some of the accounts in those days in uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Those, those were not easy times in leadership. And um, yet he says, the best of our days, trouble, sorrow. But then he says this in verse 12, so teach us to number our days. I memorize this one. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. In other words, God, help us to get this right. Help us to look at the time that you give us and evaluate. Do you know as Americans, it's really interesting. I've uh, just just to go ahead and read a little bit, uh, give a little bit of research, just to have this devotion this morning. I talk about Americans and what we do with our leisure time. And a lot of the articles talk about, in many ways, how stressful and how difficult it is. But I will tell you this, that we live the most privileged lives and we have more time for leisure. Do you know how much time the average American has for leisure on a daily basis? You might think you're real busy, but just think about it for a moment. And you want to guess that? Um, here's the bottom line is uh, a study will say that there's 4.9 to 5.5 hours. So you can almost segment our lives of uh, about eight hours of work, eight and a half hours, they'll say the average American, and uh, <clears throat> eight and a half hours of sleep, something like that. But then there's this strong uh, time that we have for leisure time. So I guess I want to say, is there any separation in your life or are you just the average American that does not fear God nor have God engaged on a daily basis? So here's some things that I want to challenge you to do with your time. First of all, at the first, 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 get daily connection with God. In other words, let him, let the, the idea of first fruits, it works with money, but it works with time. Get him in the first place. You've got a day that is like a commodity. What You're going to invest it. Your time is going to be spent. So the question is, where's God in it? And does he have uh, lordship over your time? Uh, the second thing that is really important for us to do is to have rest and reflection. Don't so busy your life with all kinds of unnecessary things. In other words, live your life by priority and you need to hem yourself in. And I'm just going to tell you, watching football or uh, spending time on Facebook is not necessarily rest and reflection. You need quiet time. You need to hem yourself in and you need to go ahead and uh, uh, think about life and how you're going to spend it. And in addition to that, you need to spend some time with relationships. If loving God is the first priority, then loving our neighbor as ourself. And the question is, are you, are you wasting your life by not investing into relationships? So from family, make decisions on investing positive things into family. Invest the words that will build them up. Invest the time, a significant time, to talk about things that matter, not just the, the, the surface level stuff, but really talking about things that matter. And then in addition to that, um, have you scheduled in service? 
And I'm talking about really serving others and serving your community. And, and for Pete's sake, get involved in your local church, Life Christian Fellowship people. Get involved in serving. Head over. What can I do to serve? Uh, it's, it, it's, it's an important part. Otherwise, we're just frittering away our lives. And then uh, one more thing is, are you growing? Are you growing in your personal life? I want to challenge you to read. Read something. One of the one of the things uh, the younger age bracket, 15 to 44, uh, is only reading about 10 minutes a day. Um, uh, while you'll find an older segment, uh, it's 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 the old heads that are spending uh, some considerable time on a daily basis in reading. And I want to challenge you to head to things, read things, hear things, uh, get involved in the kind of relationships that are going to speak in, into your life and challenge you to, uh, to really make something of yourselves. So God's given you time. You've got to have some separation. Don't live like the world. Don't live like the world. Living for, uh, for, for what? Just the money, the things, the, the entertainment value, all the stuff that is just momentary and temporary. Or are you going to live with your time? And, uh, and do it for, uh, uh, for eternity. So uh, I don't know what you use for a calendar. I don't know what you use for a daily schedule. But if you're not managing your time, you're not managing your life. And if you're not managing your life, it means you're wasting it. You're too valuable. You're too valuable to God. You're too valuable to the people around you. Make something of your life. Spend your time. Teach us to number our days aright that we may... Uh, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Hey, God bless. Have an awesome day.